Hi, this is Dan from Appland. I'm going to show you how to set up the AppMap agent for JavaScript and how to use it to visualize your running code. I've got a very simple node-based application here to use as an example. It has Express for HTTP routing and a SQLite database. The first step is to install the AppMap extension from the VS Code marketplace. Super simple, just open your extensions tab, type in AppMap, and hit install. Once the extension is installed, the Getting Started window will open up automatically and show you which projects in your local workspace are supported by AppMap. It'll also generate an install command. So I'm going to pop open a terminal window inside my project and run the pre-generated install command. This will add the AppMap agent as a dependency in my package.json. It will also add an appmap.yaml file to my project. Appmap.yaml is where to list the code packages you want to map. In this case, I'm going to limit it to the source package because that's where most of the action is. So with those two pieces in place, I'm ready to record an app map. I'll follow one of these links to the documentation to continue. App map works by recording code execution paths. There are two methods for doing this. You can record app maps from your integration tests, or you can generate app maps by recording specific operations as your application runs. For this example, I'm going to use the second method and record what is happening when I send specific HTTP requests to my app. First, I need to start my application with the app map agent enabled. So here I have the hook to app map followed by the command I would normally use to start my application, which is available in the package.json file. The server is now running locally on port 8080. To start a recording session, I'll go to the App Map tab and click the Start button. Now that I've started a recording session, I'll open up another terminal and send some requests that I'm interested in knowing more about. First, I'll send a request to the user signup endpoint and create a user and then a second request to confirm that the user was created. So now that I've run the operations I want to map, I can stop the recording session. Pressing stop will create the app map and I can assign it a name. My new app map opens automatically. This is the dependency map. I can explore web services, code, and SQL. You can see I've got my requests coming in. I can see that they call the DB module, which then queries the database. We also have an execution trace available. Here you can see what functions were triggered and drill down into the source code. What's nice here is that you can see the TypeScript and not just the generated JavaScript. I can also start with a specific SQL command and backtrack to all the code that calls it. Once you've set it up, you can push these changes so anyone on your team can take advantage of this workflow by installing the app map extension. If you like this kind of back-end JavaScript content, come join us in Discord. There are links to that, along with docs, more videos, and open source tools on appland.com. Follow us on Twitter at Land of Apps, all one word. Thanks for watching.